Coming up this week on Ralph and Vicky's The Choice. We are with Deep in the Bush Adventures here in Saskatchewan. This year, it even got better. So guess what? We just nicknamed this place the new Saskatchewan Slammers. Week's the choice. This week we're going to head up to northern Saskatchewan. We're going to hunt with Deep in the Bush Adventures, Jeff Jerome, and we're going to be hunting black bears. And this guy's crazy. I mean, he he's is insane. just. He, he's so much fun. Oh, he is always on the go, running crazy back and forth. And I mean, his main objective is to make sure everybody has a phenomenal adventure. Yeah, and this time we took Gary Cornum with us from yep. Beeman Easton. Yeah. So he's joining us in camp. So we have a lot going on bear hunting and fishing and black who knows what or else. Color bears, happen. black bears. I mean, fishing. there's a whole bunch. We better get going. excited to come back up here to Bear Paw Outfitters with Jeff and Ron. Last year we had a great time, you know, we knew this year was going to be the same thing. It is hot this year, it's not raining, and the mosquitoes are out. We invited Gary Cornum from Beeman to come on up and hunt and share the camp with us with the guys here at Bear Paw Outfitters. This week we're up here with Ralph and Vicki. I had the opportunity to get out of the office, we were back there at Beeman making arrows, and it's great to get up here and try a few of them. So we're in Saskatchewan, we're going after bears, and I couldn't be any more excited. When we got here in the camp of Bear Paw Outfitters, Jeff and Ron, they told us, they're like, we have the spy points out and we have pictures all over the place. We can, we've got a beautiful cinnamon bear and we have a big black bear that we know are on sites and we need to go after them right away. You know, we've got lots of different opportunities, color bears around, big bears. We're so excited. We can't wait to get out there and get after them. Oh, nice bear. This is what's so cool is the cameras using the spy points, getting down and the guys know exactly what's going on. Now, does, does that mean it's going to come in? Absolutely not. I mean, the opportunity of seeing that yeah. bear, you know, is, is high. But it's Mother Nature, so even though you, you've got trail camera photos of a bear coming in, you may not show up for two or three days. I mean, that's just the, that's the play of the game. It's the first afternoon out in the blind tonight. I'm super excited out here with Ralph and Vicki at Bear Paw Outfitters. It's been a number of years since I had the chance to hunt bears. They're seeing some great bears. I'm super stoked. The weather's looking good and the baits are getting hit. So we're super excited to see what comes in tonight. So they showed us some of the photos of the bears they've been seeing on the different sites. And Gary really liked to look at that cinnamon bear. So he went and he sat that first night for that bear. We sit down, 30 minutes go by. Here we got him. Here he is, the bear we've been watching. And he's coming in. This is perfect. This is just the way we wanted it. Perfectly scripted. I'm so excited. We've got the bear we've been waiting for right in front of us. He's working his way in, comes right on in, goes broadside, gives me the perfect shot, the one we've been waiting for, the bear that we want. Back again. 
my heart sinks. I'm devastated. This is the best bear I've ever had in front of me. He's beautiful, beautiful boar. I get to watch him walk off into the woods. You know, that's why they call on TV. You sometimes you just, your confidence is high, you execute the shot. You gotta remember those things. And this is just chalk it up to another experience and learning from those mistakes and that taking that next time you get an opportunity. You know, hey, that's what I did wrong last time. But wouldn't you know it, we look up, we see him circle. We're thinking, maybe he'll come back in. Nope, he circles, he knows we're there, he walks off into the woods. I figure it's over. We are ready, big walleyes, fresh walleyes, fresh fillets. Because here's the thing, you know, with Jeff and Ron, they have fishing available. They've got a couple resorts that you could go there, get your day, you know, do your daily fishing, or work a deal out and fish every day if you want. And that's what's so cool. You're getting great bear hunting and you're getting great fishing in on one trip. We decided we're gonna go fishing. You know what? It's a beautiful bluebird day and the sky is blue and the sun is shining. Why not go and try to catch us some walleyes for dinner? As Ralph, Vicki, and Gary enjoy the company of Patrick, Logan, and Jacob, there seems to be no shortage of pike and walleye, both highly sought after fish in Canada and the northern U.S. Nice walleye. I got one. That's a nice. It's a big old walleye. Oh, that's oh. a nice old walleye. <laughs> Wow. That's right. That's, that's a good, that's a good. That's a good. Thank you. Here you go. Look at this so big. Bye. Bye. The wind started getting pretty rough out there and the waves were getting pretty choppy, so we had a call of the day on the lake. We got back, cleaned up those fish, and prepared lunch. We all started getting together, trying to figure out where we're all going. And you know what? Freddie and I went one way, Ralph and Chad went the other way. And Gary, he went back to go see if he couldn't see that cinnamon bear. We're back in the blind. We settle in. About the same time of night, we look up, we see this bear again. He's circling us now, and we're thinking, just maybe he's going to come in again. I get ready. What do you know? Here's another bear right over the top of him, about 75 yards out. I can see the big boy. I'm gonna wait. He was in there last night. I think he's coming in again. Now he's committed. He's coming in. We let him get comfortable. Now I just gotta wait for the right shot angle. He turns broadside, I'm going to full draw. This time, I'm gonna make a great shot. Good shot. I can't describe the feeling. It's just the reason we bow on. My heart's pounding. I'm so happy to be here. Gary, you are so lucky. Do you realize that's a bear of a lifetime and you had him twice? Good job, buddy, congrats. I've got a second chance. Here he is right in front of me. The greatest bear ever. I'm thrilled. What a great afternoon. Second chance bear, I can't believe it. I'm here in Saskatchewan with Bear Pie Outfitters and I just had really the bear hunt of a lifetime. I couldn't ask for a better bear. I couldn't ask for a better time. I've had a blast and I'm thrilled with this bear. I just cannot believe that it really happened and came together, but this has been awesome. And I just, I'm just so grateful to be able to have, be sitting right here behind this wonderful, magnificent bear. 
This turned out to be really a hunt that I'll never forget. Great hunt. I want to thank Jeff and Ron, d &B Outfitters, Ralph and Vicki for inviting me. I've had the time of my life bow hunting and I couldn't be happier. Jeff is starting to get nervous, it's day four. And you know what, this is the way I look at it. Hot temperatures, full moon, and the boars, they're starting to rut, they're trying to find them sows. We just have to find an active bait that there's a sow on it. Jeff goes and checks his spy points and he comes back and he's like, there was this big old sow on this bait, she hasn't shown up, but there is a big boar in the area. He goes, Vic, he goes, I got a picture of him, I should have put you there last night. We're gonna go sit in there because it's an active bait, we need to get there. Well, it's day four here at Barrowball Outfitters in Saskatchewan. So we're set up here, another good site. It's a tighter area, it's really close quarters in here. The spruce trees are older spruce trees, but they have such a short growing season that they don't grow very big. If this happens, we're gonna keep our fingers crossed because if it happens, he's gonna show up out of nowhere and he's gonna be right here. So we just gotta get set, be quiet and wait. It's a beautiful evening. It's a little bit cooler out tonight. You know, still a full moon, but a little bit cooler and we're waiting but we saw squirrels and we got really excited about the squirrels and the whiskey jacks because all of a sudden there was animals moving. We're like, okay, this could be something different. They could start moving today. Who knows what's gonna happen? We're sitting there and I swear to you, I thought Freddie scratched his leg and took a deep breath. It wasn't Freddie. I turn and I look and this giant boar, this huge black bear has his head almost in our blind window. He snuck up on the moss I thought the noise I heard, the deep breathing, was Freddy. Freddy and I had no time whatsoever. I mean, it was like, okay, he's here. This big boar is smart. He wasn't sure about that blind. I was spraying that Northwood scent, and maybe that's what he was sniffing. He didn't know that we were sitting inside of it. In any case, I knew I had a minimal chance, I mean, a small time period, a small time frame that I was gonna be able to get a shot off. Oh, I think I got a good shot on him. I double checked his back leg, or his front leg, it was back air, but then the way he was sitting, I'm pretty sure I just double lunged him, I pinned him. He ran out and he went around and I think I heard him right over here. <gasps> then reality kind of came in and how close he really was to us, how big he really is, and all the other things that could run through a person's head. And the bear was so stinking close. He was between me and that tree that the spy point camera's on. The only thing I can think of is we've been spraying that Northwood scent, that gold mist right onto that tree from here. He was so close to us. <laughs> to Freddy. It scared the crap out of me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Just keep going, just keep going. And then you're gonna hang a little bit to the left. His track is really easy to see in this moss because he kind of tore it up. There's blood. Yep, I see it. I see some on the moss. See, he's kind of curving up around us, right? Oh my gosh. <laughs> got him? Yeah. Oh, buddy. Oh, he's got a big <laughs> on his head. Oh my God. He's oh my gosh. Wow. Holy cow. Look at that. Oh, wow. Good job. He's a beast. Oh my gosh. That is awesome. That is awesome. That's the one we got pictures of. Oh, no, I can't even lift his head up. Wow. Oh, buddy. Look, awesome. at, look at this. That is awesome. That's a big old pad print right there. <laughs> it is now the final day of the hunt. Gary and Vicki have both connected with fantastic bears but Ralph is yet to have a shot opportunity. Hoping for one last chance, Ralph heads to a site where a large sow and boar have been spotted in the Spy Point trail camera photos. We just got set up in our ground blind. We are really close because we couldn't, we thought we could move back further. The problem is there's too much brush. Got a good pad print on our trail coming in. A nice, a really nice pad print coming this way. We got the site right in front of us, but I mean, you're talking about 16, 17 yards max, um, tight quarters, but we're just hoping that we're ready and we're in the right place at the right time, and that's tonight.
Ralph sat out and saw a small bear. He said it looked like it might have just been kicked out. The thing is, is that Jeff, on his spy point, has a picture at the same site of a boar with a sow. So more than likely, that sow kicked her year old out to be with this boar. So you know what? We'll keep our fingers crossed. Maybe he'll get him tonight. Before long, Ralph spots movement in the woods. Only this time, it's no small bear. The arrow. He went, yeah, oh, we're like, come on. You start always, you always start second guessing your shot, but it was there and you're like, come on, but he is right there and look at the size of that muzzle. Saskatchewan slammer right here with Jeff and Ron. You hear this all the time. Last night, last hour. Well, we're changing that. It is the last night, but it ain't the last hour. We still got daylight and we're done. Yep, we are with. Deep in the Bush Adventures, who bought Bear Paw Outfitters here in Saskatchewan. And we've hunted with Jeff and Ron last year. It was a tremendous hunt. This year, it even got better. Vicky shot a slammer, and now I took this slammer. So guess what? We just nicknamed this place the new Saskatchewan Slammers. Yep, that's right. Jeff and Ron know what they're doing, and they're rocking it. And we are going to be back here on a regular basis, because I'm telling you, check these babies out. Dang, we had that a good was, trip. Yeah, we did. It was, I'll tell you what, we stopped, we 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 took some phenomenal bears. We, I mean, Gary's color was absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous. A, a bear good of a lifetime, bore. and he was so excited about oh, it. Yeah. You know, that first night he didn't get an opportunity, or he tried and it yep. ran off, oh, and yeah. he was fortunate enough that he came back that next night. So. You got a good boar. Yeah, I ended up getting us to a good death. boar. You yeah. ended up getting the good bear on the last night. Your boar night. came, like, I mean, was right there. He was it like was... almost on top of us. It was crazy. Jeff, thank you so much for having us up there again. Deep in the Bush Adventures. I mean, what else can we say? I guess we've always said it. I mean, this is what it's all about. And that go up there year after year, have consistency, yep. getting big bears, and I having a great time. Yeah, that's and, what hunting's all about. And you know the fresh fish kind of helps oh, out too. Walleye. It really does. Hey, we want to thank you guys for making your choice. The choice. We'll see you next week.